The scale command enlarges or reduces selected objects, but it keeps their proportions the same after scaling. To activate this command, I can use the tool icon. I can type scale from the keyboard or use its alias SC. Here I have a uh, representation of plant material, and I would like this object to be scaled two times its current size. I can activate the scale command and my first uh, I have to select objects and hit enter and then it wants me to specify a base point. Now the base point when scaling is going to be the stationary point. The object will be scaled from this point and it will be it will stay the same. So I chose the end of the leaf there and now it wants a scale factor. If the scale factor is larger than one my object will get bigger and if it's less than one it will get smaller. In this case I want it to be twice as big as it is right now so I'm going to enter a scale factor of two and when I hit enter this has now been scaled proportionally twice its previous size. If I want to copy an object while scaling I have that as an option of my scale command. I'm going to choose the object and I'm going to use a base point of the center and now when it's asking me for a scale factor I also have if I right click the option of copy I'm going to choose copy and now I'm going to enter a scale factor and I want this to be half of its current size so I'm going to say 0.5 and you can see that there's a smaller plant that's been created inside of there now to move that I would use a move command for my selection I would say P for previous and that was my previous um, set selection. Hit enter. I'll take a base point somewhere in the middle and move this and here is my half size plant and here is my regular size plant. I can also use grip selection with my scale command so with no command active, I'm going to uh, pull a window around this particular object. And then once I have the grips visible, I'm going to right click and choose scale from the menu. It tells me that I have wants a base point, so I'm going to use this center point right here. And then enter a scale factor, I'll say 0.5 for half size and now we have scaled that to half its size. Now there's circumstances where I want to scale an object so that its size matches another object or I can set a reference uh, for how I want an object scaled. In that case I can use my reference op option. So I'm going to choose this object, right click and choose scale from the shortcut menu. It wants a base point. I'm going to choose the midpoint of my smaller object. And then instead of specifying a scale factor right now, I have reference as one of my options. I'm going to hit R from the keyboard and enter. What it wants me to do is to pick two points that is the reference size. So it's the thickness that I want matched and now it says specify the new length. Well, one of the options is points if I want to measure something. So I'm going to enter P and this is the thickness that I want matched. I'm going to pick two points that represent that scale factor. And you can see now that that was scaled up so that now I have two matching plates.